10 injection molding interview, questions and answers. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel UG Mold Tech. If you're prepping for an interview in the world of injection molding, you've come to the right place. Whether you're an experienced engineer or just starting in the field, today we're diving into the top 10 injection mold interview questions and providing you with expert answers. So grab a notebook and let's get started. We'll cover everything from basic concepts to advanced techniques, ensuring you're well prepared for any question that comes your way. Stay tuned and let's ace that interview together. Question 1. What is injection molding? First up a classic. Injection molding is a manufacturing process used to create parts by injecting molten material, usually plastic, into a mold under high pressure. The material is then cooled, solidified, and ejected. It's one of the most common methods for producing high volume complex plastic parts. Question 2. What are the types of injection molding? There are several variations of this process. Standard injection molding is the most common, but there's also gas-assisted injection molding, insert molding, over molding, and even compression molding. Each of these has its specific advantages, depending on part requirements like weight, strength, or material flexibility. Question 3. What are the main components of an injection molding machine? A great question to understand the mechanics. An injection molding machine typically has three main components. The injection unit, the clamping unit, and the mold. The injection unit melts and injects the plastic, the clamping unit holds the mold together under pressure, and the mold itself gives the part its shape. Question 4. What materials are commonly used in injection molding? Material selection is crucial. Thermoplastics like ABS, PP, and PS are commonly used due to their versatility. Other materials include thermosets, elastomers, and composite materials like fiberglass reinforced plastics. The material choice affects both the molding process and the final part properties. Question 5. What is a runner and gate? Let's talk about flow. A runner is the channel through which the molten plastic flows from the injection nozzle to the mold cavities. The gate is where the material enters the cavity, and its placement is critical to prevent defects like weld lines or short shots. Six. Why is mold design important? Mold design is everything. A good design ensures proper material flow, minimizes defects, and improves cycle times. Key aspects include gate placement, ejection system design, and cooling system efficiency. Without a good mold design, you'll run into problems like warping or uneven cooling. Question 7. What is cycle time in injection molding? Cycle time refers to the total time it takes to make one part. It includes injection time, cooling time, and ejection time. Optimizing cycle time is crucial for maximizing efficiency and minimizing production costs. Question 8. What are common defects in injection molded parts? Great question, because knowing these defects helps you troubleshoot and improve processes. Common defects include short shots, warping, sink marks, flash, burn marks, and weld lines. Each one is usually caused by issues like improper material flow, cooling, or pressure. Question 9. What are the advantages of injection molding? Injection molding offers high production efficiency, excellent precision, and the ability to produce complex shapes. Plus, it's ideal for mass production, ensuring consistency and repeatability. The process also minimizes waste, making it more environmentally friendly compared to other manufacturing methods. Question 10. What is the role of cooling time in injection molding? Cooling time is critical because it affects part quality and production speed. Insufficient cooling can lead to defects, while excessive cooling increases cycle time. I optimize cooling by adjusting mold temperature and cooling channel design. So there you have it, the top 10 injection mold interview questions and answers. If you're preparing for an interview in this field, these questions cover the most important areas you need to know. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more tips and tricks on industrial processes. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your interview.